This is amazing. Imagine you are able to search for any data sets in Kaggle, download the data set and able to analyze the data using large language model. And also the code is completely open source free. That's exactly what we're going to do today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about open agents. It uses different agents such as data agent, plugins agent and web agent. The data agent is used for data analysis. The plugins agent uses a lot of plugins where you can interact with various other services and using web agent, you are able to get data from the browser or the internet. In this video, we are going to see only the data agent and I'm going to take you through step by step how to install and then run that. If you see the data agent, when a user request a data set, the agent or the large language model automatically choose the tool such as Kaggle to list all the available data sets and the agent will automatically be able to analyze the data and return you the result. To set this up, first go to your terminal and then git clone github.com xlang hyphen AI open agents and click enter. Now navigate to that folder. As we have seen in the picture, there are two components. One is the front end and the back end. First, we are going to install the back end. Bash backend setup underscore script dot sh should install the back end. That is done. Conda activate open agents to activate the virtual environment. Next, pip install flask course and click enter. Then pip install hyphen our backend slash requirements dot txt to install the required packages. After it's done, next export open AI API key equals this you can generate from the OpenAI website and click enter. Now we need to set an environment to run the code. It can either be a local computer or a Docker container, but it is recommended to use a Docker container for preventing any issues. First step to set up a Docker container is making a directory mkdir hyphen p backend slash data and then click enter. I'm going to run this code to pull the Docker container image and then install it. I'll put this in the description below and all the commands so you can just copy and paste it in your terminal. Click enter and get the Docker running. You should be able to type Docker PS to check if the installed container is already there. To let the application know that you are using Docker, you are exporting code execution mode equals Docker and click enter. In order to integrate the Kaggle data sets in your application, you need to go to Kaggle settings and then click create new token that should automatically create a new token for you and you need to place the downloaded token in this location. To place the downloaded Kaggle JSON file, create .kaggle folder in the root directory like this and click enter. Next, move the downloaded kaggle.json file into the .kaggle folder and click enter. Now change the permission of the file kaggle.json to chmod600 and click enter. Next, export the location of the flask app backend.main.py and click enter then type flask run hyphen p port number is 8000 this should start your backend server which is running in port number 8000 now keep the terminal running and open a new terminal in the new terminal go to the directory where you have downloaded open agents then navigate to the front end here we are going to install the front end type npm install and click enter that should enter the required package for a node application as a prerequisite, you might need NPM and Node installed in your computer. One important thing to note is that the current Node version 21.1.0 is not working with this. You need to use 20.9.0 for it to work. Next type NPM run dev. This should run our friend and application in the port number 3000 and you can navigate to that URL. The dashboard should look like this. In this, choose the data agent and then tick Python eCharts and Kaggle data search. Then you can type the question here. Give me data set about world population and click enter. Sure, I can help you find a data set about world population. Do you have any specific requirements or format in mind for the data set? No, any data set is fine. Now it's loading from the Kaggle data loader. You can see the world population data set, world population, world population live data set 2022 and world population data. I'm going to download the first one, click download. And if you see the sidebar, it should automatically come on the left hand sidebar. Clicked on the icon to download the data. Then the application started using the data profiling to understand the data 
and it says it has 234 rows, 17 columns, 208 unique data, and it's giving us some suggestions. Find the country with the highest population in 2022. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Find the country with the highest population in 2022. Click enter. Now it's using Python code generation. This is using the Docker container, which we created before to run the code and understand. When I open it, you can see the code, what it's trying to write, and then you get the response. The country with the highest population in 2022 is China. I'm going to ask, give me a growth chart for the world population. Click enter. This is using e-charts. Here's the population growth. At the bottom, you have the density per kilometer square. There is another suggestion. What is the average population density across all countries in the world? I'm going to click that. It's going to the Python code generator. So the answer is 452.13 people per square kilometer. That's it. Now you can start playing with this tool. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.